What are the messages from your soulmate? That person that you think about all the time, the person that you're connecting with during this chapter. Because God knows we have chapters. Welcome to Silavi Tarot. Let's see what's going on. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, as we could look into your person directly, how they're feeling, what their thoughts are, everything is below. Let's see. What is this person thinking? I'm going through a spiritual awakening at this time, says this person. Okay, and it says, I want to be more than just friends. Bottom of this deck, we have, I'm scared of a connection this intense here. So this is something that's very intense, not for just you, but for this person as well, as they understand that moving towards this connection is not going to just be, it's not going to be fun and games, okay? There's someone here that may be a bit afraid of how vulnerable that they have to be how open they have to be to this connection and i feel like that i mean it's understandable to some degree but i i just wish this person was just a little honest a little bit more honest with what's going on here in terms of communication in terms of you know still being in the energy of love i feel like this person possibly comes off as if they don't care but i'm getting a very strong vibe of it's just fear okay what is the messages for this energy at this time spirit for my viewers exactly we have deception codependency yeah this person tends to try to move into other places in order to get things out of their mind so I'm going to overwork, I'm going to overdrink, I'm going to overthink just so I don't have to deal with this connection. And I feel like Spirit is saying this person has been wearing a false mask in this relationship for some time here. For some of you here, again, this person has possibly told you, I'm not interested in you, I don't think we're going to work, I don't think we're compatible, I don't think this is what I'm looking for. You know, there's a lot of deception here in this energy and it's not because this person doesn't think you're good enough, it's not because this person doesn't think you're it, it's mainly this is because this person's not in a place where they're truly ready to open up to a connection this intense as they stated this is intense i don't want to love you but i do i really do love you and it scares me okay and we have finances and career i feel like someone here could be depending on someone else for finances or could be in a place where they're overworking um, i'm seeing a lot of addictive behaviors here or someone here could be trapped in a situation because of finances or this person's trapped in some of their responsibilities okay but we do have finances and career it says financial issues are a factor at this time for me okay you may want something that i can't provide for some of you this person feels like they're not good enough for you they're not good enough to um, possibly give you what you want or even be in a relationship and be a lover at this time um, because they don't have what it takes to bring in that uh, stability okay so take that how that resonates but i do feel like someone feels a bit insecure about you know their money their living situation you know um their their finances they they feel insecure about that and i feel like that's one of the factors that they're factoring in in terms of why i haven't really opened up and why i'm not able to move forward with you bad excuse but that's what they're saying so let's see what else spirit has for us here all right so it's saying to pay attention to the red flags pay attention to this person's energy and we have true love here. It goes from honeymoon stage to true love energy. And it says express your love at the beautiful bottom of the deck. Okay, it says go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Um, so with the energy of deception here, Spirit is saying pay attention. Uh, don't always believe everything you see. Okay? I feel like this person's acting, trying to show you like they're not really interested. Or this person could be somebody that's extremely dishonest. So... Pay attention, all right? Everybody's dealing with someone that's extremely different. Everybody's different here. Um, 
But I do feel like there's someone here that's just not being honest. However you want to look at it, whether this person's a narcissist, this person's scared, this whatever this may be, I don't feel like this person is showing you their true colors, okay? They're not really showing you exactly why they're doing some of what they're doing, all right? It could be because of money and securities. Like I said before, you just take that how that resonates. But this is someone here that's going to start to... <laughs> this person's going to try to come into your energy, try to connect with you, try to resolve things. Um, and again, Spirit is saying, pay attention, all right? It says the signs are cautioning you with this person. Um, so some of the things that this person has said in the past, it doesn't look like it's been truthful um, in terms of why they ghosted, in terms of why they left. And I feel like they're leaving a lot of things out. And I feel like a lot of you are on to this person. Forget about the red flags. Forget about watching this person. You're just so on to this person. This person has definitely found the right one this time around. Um, and I feel like you are not really putting up with this person's games any longer. You're, you're up to par. You're, you're paying attention, all right? And one of the things I see happening with this person, this person could have lied about, you know, how their past relationship ended for some of you, or this person has the tendency of playing victim energy, okay? Let's get some clarity on that. We have unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things were going here. So I feel like in terms of why someone here was doing some of the things that they were doing, they weren't really happy with the communication or they weren't really happy with some of the, the valid points that you were bringing up. It's like every time you would bring something up that would make sense, uh, whether it was emotions, whatever it was, this person felt like you were getting too close. Uh-oh, this person's getting too close. They're getting warmer. A lot of you that are watching are so intuitive. You don't even know when you're you know hitting the nail on the head when you say certain things it's like i don't know i just knew that that person was lying that day i just something just told me this person wasn't being honest about a situation okay um and what do we have for this current energy what do we have for this current energy i feel like for ego we have some ego in the midst of things at this time, okay? Um, I feel like this person is starting to acknowledge and understand that you're no longer chasing, right? Some of you have completely pulled back. It's like, Salavi, I don't chase. I really don't. Um, and I feel like this person owes me an apology, and I feel like this person should present themselves in a respectful manner, Um especially with the way things were going. Some of you, it's like this person didn't want to commit or this person didn't want to commit to their truth or they didn't want to commit to what this connection was here, okay? So I do see a honeymoon energy. Um, it's, it's more, let me clarify that actually, because that's interesting to me. Let's, clear, let's get a clarification on this honeymoon energy that's happening at this time. I feel like this person's looking at old pictures or looking at pictures. There's something about pictures with you that this person's revisiting here or this person's looking at something that reminds you of them. So they're, although they have this ego energy, look at this. Although this person has this ego energy, look at that. This person misses you. Can we work things out here? What is this person looking at? If you look at this energy, you'll see that this person's staring at something here, right? They're starting to look at their reflection. They're starting to look at who they are. They're starting to understand some of the mistakes that they've made. They're starting to become more balanced emotionally here. They're starting to take accountability for some of the things that they've done, that they've said, that they didn't do. For some of you, this person made plans and never showed up. This person is just not showing up. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra energy here, okay? Some of you Sagittarius as well, Capricorn. But this energy here is, with the honeymoon being clarified, this is an energy of let's let's talk about things. Let's balance things out. Let's, let's try to find some sort of equal grounds here. And I feel like this person's becoming closer to their emotions, closer to their inner child, inner soul. This person could be currently on vacation or you took a vacation with this person or there was something about a vacation here. This person's looking at pictures. There's something that they're looking at that's reminding them of you. And it's like warming them up 
internally here. And I feel like this person's starting to step into a place where, you know, they're starting to understand like, wow, this was definitely true love. We would talk to each other. We would talk about great things. We would talk about our plans. We would talk about love. Right? I feel like this person's interesting. Some of you some of you were connecting with someone that came off so balanced, but now I feel like in this current energy behind closed doors. So it's like I'm not even seeing this and of course we don't see a lot of things. That's why we have readers here. But a lot of you are starting to realize that someone is or I'm starting to realize that someone that you're connecting with here is starting to realize some of their flaws and some of their mistakes and starting to take accountability and it's not that they're doing it for you. They're doing it for themselves. They're starting to do a lot of analyzing in terms of their behavior. Someone also said something to someone here that just came off like it's not fair. Um, you could have had a conversation with this person and this person came off very rude. And now they're starting to get back into this place where it's closer to their heart. And they're starting to understand, well, that was mean. That wasn't really nice. Like this, you know, Sela Vitero's subscriber has always been fair with me. The way that I responded, the way that I ghosted, the way that I came about wasn't fair. So I feel like this person's taking a trip into heartland and starting to really step into a place of understanding that treating someone like this is not fair. It's just not fair. Okay. I see this person thinking about this at work. It's like... This person's having an epiphany and you you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to do anything to make this person have this realization. That's why I always say it's best to not do anything. Spirit is always going to bring enlightenment in so many different ways here. Uh, look at this. Communication. We have true love. Mercury kicking in like a beast. Right? We have cancer energy. We have Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag here. Taurus as well. Communication that brings in so much stability. Look at this. This person's finally still a bit arrogant, but still wanting to come in and let's talk. Let's bring some sort of balance here. I have a prize for you. I have a gift for you. I'm going to surprise you, they're saying. It's like, and for a lot of you, there's levels to this, right? Which means that this person, some of you, this person may surprise you with a conversation. Some of you, this person may surprise you with your favorite pair of shoes or, or your favorite, um, you know, I don't know, whatever it is. But there is some sort of surprise here. I'm getting a lot of energies of communication, travel. This could be somebody here that travels and they may travel and say, hey, I'm in your town. I'm in your city. I'm around your house. You know, whatever it is, this person wants to have this moment of joy with you. Let's laugh. Let's hang out. Okay? Some of you may run into this person at an, you know, some sort of event that you're going to this month in September. Coming in. It's like, wow, I ran into this person. Okay? But I feel like this person, when they connect with you, they're not only connecting by themselves. They're connecting with their inner child. Which means that this person's going to become way more vulnerable to your energy. Okay? But I feel like one of the obstacles here for a lot of you was this person not feeling like they were either good enough or stable enough in their career or their finances or their family situation. And they weren't able to really let down that insecurity energy. Okay? But now, look at this. Let's talk. Let's connect. Let's reevaluate if you will allow me. Some of you are not really into second chances, and that's fair. We have this is worth waiting for coming in. And we also have go ahead and make that romantic gesture, cross watcher. Okay? But I feel like someone here is coming in to sort of warm things up after being cold for a very long time. I feel like it's going to be a very warm fall for a lot of you here. A lot of clarifications and um, conversations happening for you. I love you, of course. Be sure to check out the description box below if you're looking for any additional information from me. And I will talk to you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.